but uh, simply run on the screen and boom now I have the character .h and the main .cpp files and up the character have a new screen a new terminal awesome Control A, Control A, I go back over to that other one. Play again, back over to this one. And I can keep concrete. Uh, have a specific one. A zero. It's zero based. Anyways, you can play around with it, figure it out. H is the uh, help for it. Anyways, back to the code. So, as you recall, we had character class. I've changed things up a little bit with some of these functions. Um, you can pause to see the differences. And now we have two classes that derive from it. Uh, now if you notice, the way you derive from a class is you put a, a colon after the class and the name, and then you put, there it's public, private, protected, whatever. Generally you'll just do public and then the name of the class that you want to derive from. Now, uh, NPC has access to everything in character that wasn't private. So, um, and all of the stuff that was protected is now private inside of NPC. Um, are considered private. Anything, any classes that were derived from NPC, it would also have access to the the uh, data or the, the items inside character turn into private. So our NPC is going to set the name equal. Uh, well, the default constructor. Notice we have two different constructors. One that's a default, and one that uh, actually brings an in input. The the name, the HP, and the strength and sets those, and then by default it'll name it mob, set its HP to 15, and its strength to 3. Uh, default constructor, and we have, this is called overloading, um, notice, oh, never mind, getting ahead of myself. Um, and we've added a damage function, which brings in an amount, and will decrease their HP by that amount and if it decreases it lower than zero it'll set equal to zero <coughs> and then it returns the HP so that we can tell uh, that you know outside of this we can tell uh, what the HP it, whether they died or not basically okay and then we also make player which is also derived from character and um, it's actually going to use. Uh, it's going to have its default constructor. Ask the user for a name, and then bring it in and set it. Set a default HP of 100. Set their. They're actually going to have XP and a level, and then also set their strength. So, notice we have two new variables that are protected. Uh, and a damage function that works exactly the same as in um, the NPC, but just in case it didn't want to uh, be the same. I, c I can actually put that into the character class, but I just didn't. Um, and then level up. Level up is going to be a special case. Um, it's going to bring in XP. It, it's going to be both the way that we can check the character's level and a way to level up, literally, the character uh, by adding XP to them and then checking to see if they leveled and then return their level. If they leveled, add to their strength and add to their level. Um, I have another version of this where have stamina as well, and it adds to the stamina, which ups the HP, or the maximum HP as well. 
Okay. Um, let's open up the main file. <coughs> so, uh, again, we include it just like we did before. You could even use the exact same file. This time, we're going to use pointers. Um, we're going to make three pointers to a character. This is called the trick we're going to use is called polymorphism. Um, basically, we make objects or pointers to objects of the type of the base class, and then we set them equal to a new object of the derived class, like this. So we have three pointers to two characters, me, mob1, and mob2, and then we set me equal to a new player, mob1 equal to a new default NPC, and mob2 equal to a new NPC uh, whose name's going to be mob of point. Um, its HP, I believe, is 10, and its strength is 15. And then, <coughs> so that we can check it, we're going to output a whole bunch of stuff that's basically going to let us know that uh, it outputted correctly. Notice that when you access a pointer to an object, you have to use this dat, um, minus sign greater than sign. Uh, I believe that's... I always get greater than and less than. Anyways, it looks like a an arrow pointing um, from the object to the function or the member or whatever that you're trying to access. Um, but you have to use that when you're using a pointer to an object, <coughs> like we are. I keep trying to do that. Um, control A, Control A over, build it. Hello, Bob. Welcome to the real world. Your hit points are 100, or your 100 hit, hit points won't take you far here. Let's talk about the mobs you will face. Mob 1, mob, has 15 hit points, fault name, and can hit for 3 damage. Mob 2, mob of point, has 10 HP, and can hit for 15. So, looks like everything went correctly. Um, I will have more tutorials soon, and sorry for the uh, the periods between, but, you know, real life stuff and such. Anyways, good luck guys, happy coding.